Hello everyone. This is a video to help you out on lab three, which is PHP calculations. But I think the most challenging part of this assignment is how exactly to uh, create a form and submit information from the form to display output on a web page. So that is what I'm gonna cover in this video. So uh, I'm at the replit.com site. And then of course I have the assignment here over to the left. So on the replit site, I'm gonna click on plus create. And um, within this class, I'm gonna I'm going to continue to choose PHP Web Server, even if it's just a um, just a regular HTML page. You can still save it as a PHP uh, file type. So I am going to save it as example with the date and create REPL. Okay, so now I have a index.php file and it puts our default code in here. And one thing I actually do recommend is that you, uh, you can still do this later on, but uh, you will have to create a second file. And when you create a second file, it doesn't put any code in there. So you're kind of stuck with having to type everything or you can just copy and paste it but I am gonna do it right now so I can copy and paste this basic code that's already here. So if you do the add file on, right next to files, do the add file button and I can type in the name and I'm gonna name it response.php. Okay, and notice how when I create a new PHP uh, page, it doesn't have anything here. So I'm actually gonna to go to the previous one and copy everything and then paste it into this new page. Okay, so now I actually have HTML, I have head, I have the body tags, and then a start of a PHP file. Okay, so uh, part of the assignment, that was basically this top part here, but with this sample code, you're gonna create a title, you're gonna put your name, but I actually don't want to do everything that's on this assignment. That's up to you. So what I wanna do is just put uh, maybe some output instructions. So I am gonna go, actually in this page, you actually don't need any, any PHP. So I'm actually gonna delete this part here because we really only need HTML. And let me make this window just a little bit bigger. Okay, so for the HTML, I'm going to say something like uh, enter a number below. Then I'm going to create a form. And your basic code with the form is just uh, doing the open form tag and the closed form tag. And then whatever you want inside. So I want an input field inside. And actually, let's go ahead and go to this example here. And I'm actually at the page called PHP form handling. If you scroll to the top of the assignment, this PHP forms um, uh, link takes you there. Okay, so I am. Okay, so here is an example of form code. We have your form tags. We have, let's see, we have an input tag. We actually have three inputs. So in this situation here, we have name, email, and then a submit button. But I'm only gonna have one, um, one input field and then the button. So I'm gonna go ahead and do input and type equals text and yes it is a number but we can still have it as text remember uh, when you're creating web pages in php it's not uh, entirely specific on some things uh, okay so then the name i'm going to just name it number and the example it says name but i want mine to be called number Okay, and then we have BR, so that way the button will start on the next line. So then I'm going to do input type equals submit. 
and then don't forget your angle brackets at the end. So there we are. We have a text and then we have a form. Let's indent that a little bit because it is inside the body tags. Okay. And let's go ahead and look at what happens. So if I do run, actually look at what I did. I actually put it on the wrong file. So I'm going to go ahead and oops, highlight, copy, and then I'm going to paste. And in this one, I'm actually going to take off the things I don't need. And that would actually include, I've actually already deleted the PHP stuff, so I'm going to have to add that later. Okay, so the index page is the one that's supposed to have form. So if I were to run it, now you see that on the right-hand side, you not, not only have the output, but you actually have an HTML page. It says enter a number below, we type in a number, and we hit submit. Now, well, the submit doesn't do anything because when we hit submit, we're actually not telling it to do anything because there's nothing in this form tag here. So if you were to do space, and notice how on the left-hand side of this page, it has an action and then it has a method. And that's actually what we're missing. And that's basically one of the reasons why nothing happened. So let's go ahead and add that action and method. So action equals, and notice that it has welcome.php, but that's not what I called it. What I called it over here is response.php. So I'm going to put that. Okay, and then we need the method. Okay. And now we have a better situation here, but I know that it's not going to work right because, well, we haven't finished the second page here. There's nothing there. So uh, when we run it, I'm actually going to stop it just to make sure that I have an updated version and then run it again. Now we're going to enter a button below. No, I'm sorry, a number below hitting submit. Well, it basically just called the response.php page that has nothing. So let me just put hi here and then stop and then run it again. We put a number here, we hit submit, and now it says hi. But see, it really doesn't have anything from the previous page on here, it just has a result. And that's fine, maybe that's all that you needed. But in this situation, we do need more. And that's where this uh, code comes into play. Notice how, okay, we do have the HTML on the body. We don't need the head and the title. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, so we have the head and the body, and that's it. Now it has welcome, and then it has PHP. So it has PHP code. Then it has BR. Now this is the open tag. This is the closed tag of PHP. And then we have regular HTML, it's BR. Then we just have text and then another PHP open and close tags. And this right here, basically this dollar sign underscore post and name that actually represents what's in that space. Now it's called name, but I actually called it number here. So whatever you have under name in the input tag, that's what we're going to have inside these um, square brackets. So let me go ahead and go back to the response and let me put what I need. I'm actually going to go, I'm going to type this is the number. Then I'm going to put the PHP. And part of PHP is actually doing echo. And then remember the dollar sign underscore post is where you get uh, the variable. And notice how it already has the open and close uh, square brackets and quotes. I named it number. And then just want to continue with what they have. We have a semicolon and the line. And then we have the question mark 
and the angle bracket to, bracket to close that PHP. Now notice how it wraps. Uh, it's up to you how you space things out. Remember that indentations and spacing really helps with looking at and debugging your code. So this looks okay. And especially because, you know, well, at this point I have my window even smaller than normal. So it's really cutting it off. So, so just keep that in mind, indentation and spacing is important. I'm actually gonna put that there too. Okay, so what's next? Uh, that's actually all I wanted to show you on this. So now we have text and then we have the PHP code where we're actually pulling the information from the previous page. So now let's go, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and then run it. And now when I enter a number, I'm gonna put it into sevens and then hit submit. And now I have, this is the number and it's pulled from that, uh, that field. Now the question is, well, part of the assignment is that you have to add two numbers. So now uh, to do the assignment, you actually need two input fields with the button so the user can enter two numbers and then in the response file, you're gonna actually pull the two numbers and then use code to add them. Now that I'm not gonna give away, but I am going to show you the page. Remember we were at PHP form handling to look at how to do the forms. But if you go into this operator section here, on that same page, oops, you will actually see uh, you know, the different operators to add stuff. So notice how there's the plus and it even has the dollar sign to kind of show you well. If you want to add two things together, let me pull up my code again. If you want to add two things together, you need this dollar sign in front. And basically this entire dollar sign post number, all of that is needed to actually uh, have the number and then to add it to something else. Okay, and that's all I wanted to show you on this. So if you have any questions, let me know.